One of the spiritual principles that spiritual writers for years have written about is detachment. Is that sometimes the things that we own end up owning us. Hi, my name is Father Mike Schmitz and this is Ascension Presents. A couple years ago, I watched this documentary called The Minimalists and I was captivated by it, right? It's these two guys who said, you know what? We're living in the West with so much material abundance. We have all these things that not only do we not need, I don't even know if I want these things in my life. And so they went through this process of like decluttering their lives. And it was great and it was fascinating and I did some of that decluttering. And then a couple of months ago, I came across these vlogs Right, with a V of vlogs video, kind of like this. But they moved around and stuff. I'm always just right here. Here we are. They moved around and they were like, yeah, we declutter our home and we're living this minimalist lifestyle and we're doing this with our family or as a couple or as an individual. And I thought, that is awesome. I love this. And so I went through the process, right? I was going through my closets and like what extra clothes I need, going through the cupboards. Like I don't need these plates or all these mugs. People give me, you know, mugs for coffee because they know I like coffee, but I'm like, I can only drink out of one mug at a time. That kind of thing I went through this whole process. And it was super, not only easy, because I just like, good, get rid of these things. It was all, not only fun, that's good, it's not only freeing, but also I was convicted because these minimalist guys and most minim minimalist vlogs are kind of secular, right? They're, they're not motivated necessarily by a spiritual um, desire for freedom from attachment. But for myself, as a priest, one of the vows I made, one of the promises I made at my ordination was a vow of simplicity. People always say, Father, do you make a vow of poverty? And like, no, das is a priest, make a vow of simplicity. And they say, what's the difference? And I'm like, I'm not exactly sure. I think we can own stuff. I think that's a big difference. But too often, even priests like myself, we can get caught up in the way of the world, right? Which is, okay, I'm living simpler than who? <laughs> someone, if I can think of someone, then yeah, I'm living up to my promise of simplicity. And I was convicted by saying, I don't think I have. Now, as I said, it was very easy to get rid of clothes. It was very easy to get rid of uh, plates and mugs and other things that I, I don't have an attachment to. But then I went over to a brother priest's house and this man is so holy. Like he is just, yeah, he's kind of top tier, right? I looked at his house and I'm like, wow, this dude, did you ever watch the minimalist stuff? And he's like, what? <laughs> so the answer is no. But his everything was just, it was, here's a couch, here's a chair, here's a wood. It was so simple. And I said, well, where do you keep all your books? Because that's what I noticed. He's like, oh, right here. And he showed me to this room that he uses as an office. And I walked in and on one side of the room was an altar, just really nice. But he said for his days off, he would say mass privately there. The other side of the room was a desk that had a, la a laptop, a laptop on it. That was it. I'm like, and then the bookshelf was three shelves, you know, three shelves high. And only two of the bookshelves were used for books. The other one was empty. I said, that's all your books? He's like, well, I don't really need any more. And that was even more convicting because if you walked around this house, even though it's pretty small, I've got bookshelf upon bookshelf just packed to the gills with books. And I realized, oh, that's called attachment. One of the spiritual principles that spiritual writers for years have written about is detachment. Is that sometimes the things that we own end up owning us. And I thought, no, no, I can get rid of everything. Like, I don't even care. Like, I'm so unsentimental that I can get a card from my mother in the mail that says, you know, dear son, blah, blah, blah. And like, wow, that's so great. Put it in the recycling. <laughs> that's, that's just kind of like how I'm like, this is so great because I'm not, not attached. But then I realized I'm not attached to a lot of things, but I am attached to some things. And that was the next step of being able to say, minimalism isn't just like, you know, be, declutter your home and be free in that way. It was, what is grabbing onto your heart and why does it have a hold? Why does it have a hold? Because sometimes it's stuff, sometimes it's books, sometimes it's, it's whatever kind of things it is. Sometimes we're holding onto it and we have these three words. We're holding onto it just in case. You ever, you ever find yourself doing that? Where I'm, I, I, I don't need this. I, I haven't used it in years or I haven't read it. You know, I've already, or, or I've already read this book and I've read it five times and I'm not going to read it again. But just in case, we can look around our, our, at our homes maybe. We can look, look around at our lives and realize the reason I'm holding on to this is not because I need it and not because I want it, but because it gives me some sense of security. That could even be our bank accounts that I'm preoccupied because if it dips below a certain level, oh, now I'm nervous. So I have these things just in case. And yet in scripture, Jesus tells this parable 
of a foolish person who looks at all of his property and he says to himself, I will tear down my barns and build larger ones for all of my possessions. And then I will be at peace because I'll have enough. So I'll eat, drink, and be merry. And then the Lord says that night, God says to him, you fool, for this very day, your life will be demanded of you. Yet a lot of times you hold on to that stuff, right? It has a hold on us because it gives us a sense of security. Now I have enough, says the man in the parable. I can be at peace now because I have what I need to have. I'm no longer free. I'm just secure. I'm no longer, I no longer belong to the Lord, but at least I have this illusion that uh, I have it just in case. And so what I have to do is I have to go through my stuff, right? And say, how much of this has a hold on me? That I'm really keeping it because I want the security of knowing that I have it. And what are the, what, what are the things that I can be a steward of? And this is, this is the key word. This is the end. Because I know, you maybe have made the mistake too. I have some siblings, I think it was my siblings or someone I know, who um, they gave away all their baby stuff. Like we have all these baby stuff from our first couple, you know, bunch of kids and we'll give it away. We don't need this anymore. And then they got pregnant again. Like, ah, oh, why do we do that? So we need to be stewards. It's not just get, get, it's not just get rid of everything. It's let's be good stewards. So what does that look like? That looks like being detached and holding up something and saying, does this spark joy? Maybe, it's, maybe it means does it spark joy. But maybe the question is, what does God want me to do with this? Can I, can I keep it and use it? Can I give it and bless someone else with it? Can I throw it away and have some freedom there? But I'm looking at it not as something that I need to hold on to for my own security, not something that I need to hold on to just in case, but something that if I hold on to it, it's because I can do something good with this, or I give it away and I can do something good with this, or I can chuck it because the goodness in this thing, it's already, it's already been used. And so it's, 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 now it's just trash or recycling. But ultimately, this is not just about freedom for me. Stewardship is not just about freedom for myself. Stewardship and simplicity is about having that freedom to be able to bless others. That's what true good stewardship is. Not just freedom for myself, but freedom interiorly so that I can then move on to bless others. So I'm going to keep looking at my stuff. I'm going to keep looking around and saying, okay, Lord, what is this? Spark joy or not? <laughs> That's fine. But also that question of, God, what do you want me to do with this thing? I don't want it to hold on to me. I'll only hold on to it if you have purpose for it in my life. If not, I want to use it in such a way that glorifies you and helps the people around me. Anyways, that's what I think. Uh, I'm going to go get rid of some more stuff and hopefully you can too. For all of us here at Ascension Presents, my name is Father Mike. God bless.